Welcome back to Security Simplified. Serialization is when an object in a programming language like a Java or a PHP object is converted into a format that can be stored or transferred over a network. Whereas deserialization refers to the opposite. It's when the serialized object is read from a file or the network and converted back into an object. Today, let's talk about a vulnerability that arises in this process. Insecure deserialization vulnerabilities happen when applications deserialize random user-supplied objects. An attacker can provide the application serialized object that manipulates variable values and the program's logic. To help you understand insecure deserialization vulnerabilities, let's take a look at how they manifest in PHP applications. To understand insecure deserialization in PHP, you have to first understand how PHP serializes and deserializes objects. When you need to store a PHP object or transfer it over the network, you use serialize to pack it up. When you need to use that data, you use unserialize to unpack and get the underlying object. For example, this code snippet will serialize the object user. If you run this piece of code, and you will get the serialized string that represents the user object. Let's break this serialized string down. The basic structure of a PHP serialized string is data type data, and B represents a Boolean, I represents an integer, D represents a float, S represents a string, and an A represents an array. And finally, O represents an object. Our serialized string here represents an object of the class user. It has two properties. The first property has the name username and the value Vicky. And the second property has the name status and the value not admin. Both of these properties are strings. When you are ready to operate on the object again, you can deserialize the string with the function unserialize. When an attacker controls a serialized object that is passed into unserialized, they can control the properties of the created program object. One possible way of exploiting this is variable manipulation. For example, you can mess with the values encoded in the serialized string. In this serialized string, for example, you can try to change the value of status to admin and see if the application grants you admin privileges. Another way of exploiting insecure deserialization vulnerabilities is using it to execute arbitrary code on the vulnerable machine. To understand how this works, you will first need to understand how unserialized function works under the hood. Step one of deserializing a PHP object is instantiation. Instantiation is when the program creates an instance of a class in memory, and that's what unserialized does. It takes the serialized string, which specifies the class and the properties of that object. With that data, unserialized creates a copy of the originally serialized object. It will then search for a function named wakeup and execute code in that function. Wakeup is a special PHP function name used to specify a function that reconstructs any resources during the deserialization process. It is used to reestablish any database connections that might have been lost during serialization and perform other reinitialization tasks. And then the program operates on the object and uses it to perform other actions. And finally, when no reference to the deserialized object instance exists, a special function named destruct is called to clean up the object. So how can you manipulate an object to execute arbitrary code? When you control a serialized object that is passed into unserialized, you can control the properties of the created objects. That means that you could also control the values passed into automatically executed methods like wake up or destruct. For example, consider this vulnerable code snippet taken from the OWAP's website. 
you can achieve RCE using this deserialization flaw because a user provided object is passed into unserialized. And the class example two has a magic function that runs eval on user provided input. To exploit this RCE, you simply have to set your data cookie to a serialized example two object with the hook property set to whatever PHP code you want. You can generate the serialized object using this piece of code. We need to use URL encoding here since we are injecting the object via URL. Passing this string into the data cookie will cause the code PHP info to be executed. Let's break this down a bit. Once you pass the serialized object into the program, this is what will happen in detail. First, you pass a serialized example two object into the program as the data cookie. The program calls on serialized on the data cookie. And because the data cookie is a serialized example two object, Unserialize will instantiate a new example2 object. Unserialize will see that example2 class has wakeup implemented, so the wakeup function will be called. Wakeup looks for the hook property of the object, and if it is not null, it runs eval hook. In your malicious object, hook is not null and is set to PHP info instead. So PHP info is run. Finally, you have executed your malicious code and RCE is achieved. Insecure deserialization affects many other programming languages such as Python, Ruby, and Java. And the mechanisms of insecure deserialization work slightly different in different programming languages. But the basic idea remains the same. When you deserialize arbitrary objects from the user, you can accidentally allow them to manipulate variable values and execute arbitrary code. These vulnerabilities are extremely dangerous and can allow attackers to gain full control over an application or a machine. And that's it for today's security lesson. Next time, we'll talk about how to prevent insecure deserialization vulnerabilities. Thanks for watching.